So for those of us women who have been in our doing and outcomes, deliverables, accomplishments, and we're wanting to start to access more of our feminine side, um, I don't know about you, but today is just a perfect example, right? Like I, the past three weeks, I've gotten a ton of stuff done. And so for this week, I said that I was going to do things that are fun and pleasurable. And then what did I do this morning? So I knew I was going to work out, but then I started going to my to-do list. I started, I was like, oh, I've already checked these boxes. Let me go check those off. I've already done that. And then now it's noon and I have not gone and done anything that I said I was going to do. So I am pausing on everything and I'm about to head to the lake and I'm going to sit at the lake and just relax and drop down into my body. And this is a great example of kind of the bumps in the road if you're new to being intentional to access, find ways to access your feminine energy. These are the things that are going to pop up probably. So I've been doing this now for probably two years, maybe two and a half years. I don't know where I've intentionally said to myself, okay, I've accomplished things. I've been in my building phase and now it is, I am desiring to hold more feminine energy space in my life, in my relationships, um, in my family situation. And so you'll find, even if you've been doing this for a while, it's easy to fall back into the doing and accomplishment and letting that take over. And as the queen of to-do lists for decades, one thing I have learned, ladies, is that even if you mark everything off on your list, new things pop up whether it's something that pops up unexpectedly with your relationship and like, hey, I just saw this come up, you know, can you take care of it? Or, you know, do you have time to do this today? And then you, you're like, sure, I've got it, right? Um, so yes, also recognizing and knowing in my soul the importance of accessing and making time to access more of the feminine side of myself and not to push that down, not to triage that down, um, and that it is important. And it really, it, it changed my energy. It changed my relationships um, with friends and things like that. So this is so important to me and I'm just not going to let it go. So anyway, I wanted to hop on because even if you've been practicing for a while, this will creep up, right? This creep up of getting things done. And yes, you can live a life of getting things done. That is, that's a great life. But in my situation, in my relationship, we are more intentional now where my husband holds the space of the doing and getting things done primarily. And I am holding the space for more of the feminine in our life. So yes, if it creeps up, just, you know, don't get discouraged. If it's, you know, 11 noon and you feel like you haven't done what you said you were going to do. Um, Cause as women, I feel like we feel like there's not time for this. And if you ask men, they're not going to know what you're talking about. Of course, you should be getting things done. No, I don't talk to my husband about that. I don't talk to my husband about making time to create feminine space in my day or in my week or in my month or, hey, I realized I should probably just go sit by the lake and look at beauty and soak it in. I just go and do it and it raises my vibration. And I've noticed that over time, I don't need to tell my husband everything that I'm doing um, because he ends up feeling the result and he ends up feeling me being 
in my body in a safe place.